Whenever there are changes, people react. You can't stop it. The euphoria takes over and people pick up on the trend. They can get carried away, however. In the meantime, there is much volatility and uncertainty. Let's turn the page over to China. You came here for the truth. Today we are going to look at the bank run that has taken place in China. Let's begin. This was back in May of 2017. Macau to launch facial recognition and identity card checks for ATMs after withdrawals surpass 10 billion a month. So what happens? Money starts fleeing? Well, they have to squash that from happening. So they said they were going to put it in, and now that is being implemented. This is present day. Chinese bettors are withdrawing money from some ATMs in Macau, and they'll need to do more than punch in their PIN code. They have to stare into a camera for six seconds so facial recognition software can verify their identity and help monitor transactions. And what are they talking about here when they say monitor? Well, of course, they want to know who's taking money out of the system. The system doesn't work when you have paper cash. The system works when you take your paper cash, you put it in a deposits, and they are able to use fractional reserve banking to do their dirty deeds. And this here is very, very frightening when people start pulling money out of the banking system. And that's what's happening today. It's starting small, but it will continue. As long as people are in fear and as long as the trend continues, you're going to see it accelerate. It will snowball. Regulators in the world's most lucrative gaming hub are deploying machines with minority report style technology to keep tabs on number one capital outflows from China and for the potential money laundering schemes. That's what they're claiming anyway. I don't think this is, has, has anything to do with money laundering. They want to crack down on individuals. They want to know where the money is going. They want to know who it's going to because they want your taxes. They want control and they want tax money. If you are profiting in some way, they want to make money off of that. If you operate a business and you provide good service to people, the government wants a piece. That's the way this works. China's Union Pay Code Network is the first to use a software which would be installed in the city's 1,200 cash dispensers. So this is just one example of a company that is implementing this. I'm sure this will probably continue as they get technology becoming more pervasive, essentially. So this is not just one testing thing that they're doing. It's now going to be in all of the city's 1,200 cash dispensers. So it's interesting to see how it'll all play out. The president of China is trying to curtail the overseas shifting of currency that helps suppress the value of the yuan and drain capital reserves. This entire fractional reserve fraud that we've been experiencing here shouldn't really be allowed to exist, but here we are. But the people, it is the people that are complacent and they allow it to continue. If you keep your money in the banking system, you have to pay the price. That's why people are pulling their money out and they're putting it under their mattress or they're investing in assets or they're doing something else because they don't trust the system. So move on here to another article related to this Hong Kong ATM network sees a surge in China union pay withdrawals following facial recognition move by Macau so they're seeing what's happening they're getting freaked out they're pulling their money out and that's the capital outflows that all of these bankers are so scared of bank runs are the worst possible thing for a bank they are the worst thing because then they can't even use your money to make up for the shortfall. That's why they try to implement these bail-in regime that's in Canada and, of course, all of the G20 nations. They want this policy and they are getting it, that's for sure. Monetary chiefs in Hong Kong have declined to or confirm the information obtained by the South China Morning Post that ATMs have seen a staggering rise in withdrawals since the casino hub introduced this recognition technology in May as part of a bid to stem illegal capital flights from mainland China. 
They're trying to point the finger here. I just believe that when one thing starts to happen, it spreads very, very quickly. The rise in ATM withdrawals in terms of volume and number has been staggering. The taps are gushing. That's according to one source. It seems quite clear that as the introduction of ATM facial recognition technology in Macau has put the squeeze on cash dispensing withdrawals, the pattern of withdrawals had followed the path of least resistance, and that is to Hong Kong. Interesting the way that works, the ripple effect, and you will see that geographically they are very close together and also linked in some other ways. Let's see what happens with this. If it continues, it will escalate very rapidly. And then look at what Greece did. They basically turned off the taps. And then they said, okay, you can have your money back. You can have all your money back, except you can't get it today. You might get it later. For now, you can take out whatever it was, like 50 euros a day or whatever. And that's something that worries me. People don't really think about that because they say, look, the bank is not going to steal my money. The bank is going to be keeping it safe for me. And I trust them because historically, no one's ever lost any money in the banks. Nobody has ever had to deal with problems with the banks. That's the meme. That's the lie that I keep hearing. Is it okay if there's a bank run and they call a bank holiday? And for a short period of time, maybe it's just one day, maybe it's a weekend where you can't access your money. Is that okay? You tell me. Some people actually do agree with that. That's It's fine. It's, it's okay. Because my money's safe. For me, that is unacceptable. And that's why should not put any faith into the system whatsoever. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. And if you found the video informative, I know you will find my books, The Money GPS and my new release, Global Economic Collapse, even more informative. You can flip through these books at Amazon. The links are in the description of this video the first book is about the four asset classes and how to profit from them. Whereas my new book gets into tax incentives, reducing your monthly expenses and becoming self-sufficient in what I call the money GPS strategy. So check those out at Amazon. I just wanted to let everyone know that I am also posting all of my videos on two alternative media platforms, and that is VidMe and DTube. So you can get those links in the description as well. I'm trying to diversify out of this platform and into those just I think it's just a wise idea to do so so if you want to follow me on there definitely check me out every single video that's posted here will also be posted there so you won't miss a thing take care